Hey guys, it's Ash, and today I want to share something new, something a lot of people have never seen before, and that's farming in Titan League. A lot of people have the misconception that farming in Titan League is just about sniping, uh, but that's not true. I actually make a lot of loot from actually attacking bases, and also make a lot of loot from the loot bonus. As you can see, the loot bonus at Titan 3 is 230,000 gold, 230,000 elixir, and 1,600 dark elixir. And as you can also see that I'm currently upgrading all four of my cannons here. Uh, they each costed me 6.4 million uh, gold each. And I'm also actually winning defenses even with these uh, cannons upgrading as you can see. Okay, let's start off with a bang. I actually found the Town Hall 9 base in Titan. So not only am I gonna be able to get a lot of resource, I'm also gonna be able to get a lot of trophies if I can manage to three star him. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spread around my wall breakers, open up two far sides of the base, and also place uh, two jump spells towards the core so that I can have my troops all spread around, attack from all cylinders as they make their way towards the core. So the preferred army composition that I like to utilize for farming in Titan League consists of giants, wizards, and witches because this is a very efficient army composition and it's also a very powerful army composition at the same time. So it's very effective for farming here at Titan League, especially if you have very uh, powerful heroes. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a raid spell, remove his uh, clan castle archers with the poison, and as you can see all my troops have basically made it to the core. Some have spread around but that's fine because I do want them spread around throughout the base because I do want to 3 star this guy. Uh, so here I do have both of my heroes at the core. I'm going to place the second rage spell perfect placement uh, it, it Basically encapsulated all my troops in that rage spell and uh, I still have a golem So for clan castle you can either have a golem you can ask for giants wizards witches doesn't matter All of them work fine with this composition as for spells you can use earthquake spells or jump spells or rage and freeze uh, so that's basically what I like to use most of the time most of the time usually I just only like to use one jump spell so that I can then have two rage and two free spells as uh, they're very good with uh, giants wizards and witches so here I only have a few more defenses left my heroes are still very healthy so this is gonna be a pretty much a walk even though this was a maxed out defense town hall 9 base I was still able to very easily three star it he only has his uh, wizard tower left and archer tower, not really gonna help him much here. Uh, so in total, I made around, okay, 360,000 plus around 280,000 elixir, so that's over 600,000 in resource. But then you also have to add in the loot bonus, 230,000 each, so that's in total over 1 million resource and 4,000 dark elixir. I also got an amazing 42 trophies, which is the most trophies I've ever gotten from a Town Hall 9 base. Okay, here we have a dead Town Hall 10 base. Yes, you can actually find dead bases here in Titan League. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, inst instead of attacking from one side, I'm going to spread around my uh, giants around the base 360 degrees have wizards behind them to take out all those collectors and also gain percentage points as you can see I'm still keeping my clan castle troops and my heroes and now I'm going to send out my clan castle giants here uh, send out my level 40 heroes so heroes play a big part a major role in 50 percenting this is very similar to barge but actually more powerful because you're utilizing uh, more powerful troops you're utilizing giants that are more tankier uh, than barbarians you're you utilizing wizards that are much stronger than archers so this is a much more powerful form of that so here I'm using my heroes to quickly get that 50% win and I made a lot of resource again over 1 million in total and also 4,000 dark elixir and both my heroes completely healthy Okay, here we have a max defense Town Hall 10 base. And I'm gonna attack from the top. I'm gonna create three openings. Open up at the top, at the top right, and also open up at the top left so that I can nicely spread out my giants and have them all come inside in three sides and also deploy my wizards. I first start by deploying them on the top right and top left uh, so that they can remove those structures and funnel my heroes and the rest of my giants, wizards, and witches towards the center. 
and now I'm going to place that jump spell and also going to assist all of these troops with the raid spell because now they're all clumped so it's going to be a perfect placement of that raid spell uh, place a uh, free spell on the multi inferno so that I can keep my wizards going because uh, multi infernos are very deadly uh, against wizards so I'm going to double freeze here again because I do want to keep my wizards alive as they go for that town hall in this uh, raid I had three free spells so I wasn't too hesitant on using them early and I also activated my Barbarian King's ability early so that he can summon his uh, 20 Barbarians and also keep my Wizards and Witches safe from the Multi Inferno. Uh, but he hasn't lived for too long. My Archer Queen, I don't know where she went. She just strolled around the base. Uh, but that's fine. She did manage to still get two storages. Well, almost two storages. And that's going to be over 450,000 gold uh, and around 150,000 Elixir. So again, in total, that's over a million as you know, uh, 230,000 each of Golden Elixir. Okay, another max defense Town Hall 10 base, but it has a lot of loot. As you can see, lots of loaded collectors. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spread out my giants, have them shield for my wizards, as the wizards go for the collectors, the gold collectors, the elixir collectors on the outside. And as you can see, I've already managed to get over 200,000 elixir and around 200,000 gold. However, I'm still at only 11% and I only have a few more troops left, but I knew that this base was very weak from behind and I can actually manage to get the 50% percent uh, by attacking it from the back so that was my plan this is more of an anti two star base very easy to one star and obviously I'm farming so it's very effective to to attack in this manner just going for the one star or 50 percent and uh, you can make a lot of resource by attacking storages because a lot of storages and collectors here in Titan are loaded so here I have all my troops still spread around I'm at 35 percent uh, I still have three spells left. I actually have three jump spells for this attack. And uh, I, I tried being a bit stingy here, saving a jump spell. And uh, obviously I'm only getting one trophy from this because this is a champion three player. And I'm already at 48%. So I decided to just drop a jump spell just for fun to get that second star. However, as you can see, watch her uh, go for that town hall. She's like one shot away from the town hall and then she dies. Uh, so yeah, a bit unfortunate there, but it doesn't really matter because I'm gonna get one trophy anyway. And uh, and still I managed to get that win and I got a lot of resource uh, over 1.3 around 1.3 million in total resource and over 4,300 dark elixir all right hope you guys enjoyed that if you did be sure to give this video a thumbs up and also if you guys want to see more of these high level farming videos uh, be sure to comment below and also subscribe if you haven't done so yet and I'll see you guys again soon later